Hey everyone, welcome to the results video of multiplayer round 36. It's already the 36th round, uh, and in this round, um, I asked uh, Shen Kitchen to make a bench uh, with one of his uh, pallets. Uh, you may recognize this pallet, you probably don't, but uh, Shen Kitchen used it for his uh, entry in the wooden coaster contest. Anyway, um, I really liked this uh, palette. It's, uh, it looks quite vintage. Uh, it has a really nice watercolor, a bit purplish, and uh, yeah, also has many different tints of uh, brown. And I really liked it. So, uh, Shen Kitchen then made a made a bench with it uh, for for all players uh, to use. Anyway, um, we had 15 completed entries this round. Um, Sadly, um, Sus Paquette was not uh, able to finish uh, in this round, um, but yeah, um, we still had 15 uh, completed entries. So I'll start with the one that, uh, that got last place and I'll finish with the one that uh, won this round. Alright, in last place we have this uh, entry from uh, Bus the Noob. Let me uh, quickly turn on the cutaway view. Alright. Um, well, basically, he started off with a plot uh, from uh, from another player who dropped out. Uh, DDD Robbie uh, dropped out. Uh, so yeah, Buster Noob uh, continued with the plot. Um, he made this. Uh, well, I think it's uh, I think it's a church or something. Um, not sure if there's anything uh, inside. Uh, doesn't really look like it. Other than that, there's just a graveyard, um, there's a weird ride here, a Tommy gun ride. Uh, it also looks like it has, uh, it looks like it was built while the disabled vehicle limit cheat was on, because it has uh, 31 cars. And I also don't see this one running, so uh, this one has the same issue, yeah. Anyway, um... Yeah, other than this church, the graveyard, and these two uh, random rides, uh, there's really not much to see here. Just some trees, uh, just some paths, and a graveyard. So yeah, that's why this uh, this plot scored last. Uh, probably with a with a ride, it would have done a lot better. Okay, here we have the entry that got 14th place. This one was made by uh, Trumafarium. Um, yeah, he actually uh, worked on this uh, plot a lot more, but uh, he built on it while he was not connected to the server, or uh, he lost connection uh, somehow. And then actually, uh, obviously, uh, all his changes didn't get saved to the server because he was not on it, and uh, that uh, caused him to uh, yeah to lose those changes. Uh, so this plot was still very empty in the end. Uh, in the end, he rushed to get some, uh, at least some trees in. But yeah, that's why this plot uh, looks a little bit uh, bar barren. Now, um, this coaster, I think it's a bit of a weird mix between uh, a dive loop and a twister coaster. I mean, the start is a very typical of a dive loop, even with a holding brake. But uh, that's a very long uh, coaster train from a twister coaster. Um, the coaster also has a mid-course brake run. Uh, I don't think a mid-course brake run is uh, necessary for such a short coaster. Um, that's also why it had to wait here for the other uh, train to exit from the station. <laughs> and probably the same thing will happen again now. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, you should really try to avoid uh, having that happen to your coaster. I mean, if you are in a coaster, it's really annoying if you, if you have to stop somewhere uh, in the middle of middle of the course uh, for the train ahead of you to uh, to exit its own brake section. So yeah, when you have a really short uh, layout like this, uh, don't make uh, extra block sections in the middle. It uh, it's a waste of uh, of momentum. All right, here we have the entry from Birian. Um, Let's use the cutaway view here. Uh, <laughs> just didn't make it. Let's try again. Alright, um, 
So Birion made this uh, Giga coaster. It, here's the station. It gets launched from the station up this uh, inclined uh, top hat. Um, when you make a top hat like this, uh, it will usually look better, in my opinion, if you uh, give it some vertical track with, uh, so it becomes a real uh, top hat. It just looks nicer than uh, when you keep them uh, inclined like this. Um, other than that, this this I think the layout is quite nice. Uh, it passes through some of these buildings. Uh, well, again, um, I've already said this several times, but uh, when you make buildings, uh, you should really not keep grass on the inside. It just looks kind of silly. Also, you can see a wall here where you can look inside. And uh, right now the wall just looks really thin. So what I always do when I have uh, a building, is I also make walls like this on the inside. And that will make your building look a lot more uh, solid. Right now it, uh, it just looks like it has paper uh, on walls. So yeah, for buildings, uh, just to replace the, te the, uh, un the texture on the inside with something else than grass. Uh, sand will uh, usually work uh, quite well. Uh, actually, meant this one. And place some inside walls, and uh, that will usually improve your buildings uh, a lot. Now, other than that, um, when you make a building like this, um, well, you have a section with a lot of walls here. Um, real buildings are always full of uh, windows. So yeah, um, we have a section uh, like this with lots of walls. Just add some extra windows. It will make your buildings uh, look a lot nicer. Um, something else that was rated quite lowly is, uh, as you can see here, some of these areas are uh, filled with uh, trees and plants. I think it looks uh, quite nice. But then you have these areas here which, are, which just have uh, this uh, unkept grass. It's quite a contrast. I think it would have looked a lot nicer if uh, this area also had, uh, had uh, more trees and plants instead of just uh, uncut grass. Okay, here we have the plot made by uh, Jochem. Let's do some uh, colorway view. Alright. Um, I think this was a castle uh, inspired by uh, Skyrim. Because Jochem uh, loves that uh, that game. Um, these gumdrops, uh, they were supposed to uh, to be clouds, but um, yeah, in order to make them look like clouds, um, they probably need a, a little bit more uh, irregularity. Because now um, they're all next to each other, most of them at the same height. I th I don't think that works really well as uh, as clouds. So I think it uh, usually works better if you mix them with some. Uh, with some uh, stuff like uh, like mints, so like this, and you also have these sideways gumdrops. Uh, you can also mix uh, some of those in. So yeah, when you do that, the pattern becomes uh, much more uh, irregular. I think that works uh, much better as clouds. But Jochem also said that he kind of rushed it in the end, so that's also why. Uh, well, yeah, let's just say that you can see that it, it's uh, quite rushed. Now, there's also a roller coaster going around here. It's one of those uh, inverted uh, shuttle coasters. Um, now, when you do supports like this, um, you should not put them on the on the side where the coaster train is also going to be. Uh, I think I think it's much better if the Support structure is on the other side. It, they also do it like that in the in the coaster that comes with the game. Uh, I believe it's called uh, Deja Vu. I think my game just crashed. <laughs> I don't know why. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, the coaster that comes with the game, Deja Vu, it also has the supports on the other side of the track. Just so the train has uh, space to go to while uh, it goes up the towers. But yeah, that's just a nitpick. Let's uh, enable the cheats that I want. Let's fix all the rides. Alright, 
Uh, I do like the the castle though. It uh, it it's it's a bit simple, but uh, it looks nice. All right, here we have the entry from uh, Snack Time. Um, a really high density of stuff in this uh, in this plot. Uh, he made this uh, really nice buildings here on the side, and this uh, coaster that travels uh, throughout the the plot. It's one of those inverted coasters. It travels up uh, the lift hill really fast. Um, and it goes through the loop, then it does a turnaround, then another loop, then there's another inversion here, and then it returns uh, back to the station. Oh wait, uh, it looks like also out of the station it immediately does uh, does a roll. Alright, uh, what I really like on this uh, plot is these uh, supports, uh, they look pretty cool. Um, other than that, I also really love the entrance to this plot. Uh, this looks really, really nice as well. Uh, same entrance here on the other side. Uh, let me quickly use the cutaway view again. All right. So yeah, I, I really enjoy these uh, buildings. Um, there's also some other rides. Um, um, there's, so there's the top spin here. And there's also this uh, weird uh, swinging ride. Um, the reason this swinging ride is weird is because it's a trajectory. Uh, well, normally um, you would expect it to be attached uh, to this thing here at the top, so it it would uh, more or less, uh, yeah. You should make the trajectory more or less so that uh, the length. Uh, or the distance from this uh, car to uh, to where it's uh, suspended. Uh, well, it should stay the same distance, and here uh, it actually moves towards it as it goes up. Um, so yeah, that that really doesn't make sense uh, in my opinion, and it does make the ride look uh, a little bit weird. But I have to say, uh, it uh, the support structure for the ride does look uh, really good. Alright, here's the plot from uh, Kanaifa. Um, so he made this uh, corner plot here, uh, also with an inverted coaster. Um, so yeah, it goes up the, the lift hill, then it does this uh, sidewinder, a sharp turn to the uh, right. Uh, to the left, I mean. <laughs> then there's a helix, then there's this roll, another helix, and then it returns back to the station. I like this uh, transfer track over here, um, and also these buildings uh, look really nice. Um, so the buildings are quite simple, just uh, these uh, wooden mine uh, walls with uh, windows and some basic roofs on top from the expansions. But uh, I do love these uh, these awnings, uh, these overhangs. They look really good. I also really like the, these flowers. Um, some really nice. Uh, landscaping here and some trees and nothing is really uh, overdone here everything is just very uh, yeah. let's just call it uh, less is more <laughs> so yeah there's not uh, much on this plot uh, just uh, it just looks really good and of course there's a little Dutch flag as well all right um, by the way, if you want to see these entries for yourself, uh, you can simply download this map from my uh, Discord server. Uh, it's completely free, and then you can uh, look at everything uh, at your own pace. Okay, then we have a three-way tie for seventh place. Um, this plot was made by left-handed coffee mug. His name is so long that he had to divide it over four signs. Uh, but yeah, uh, he made this little ski uh, resort, or uh, why, well, yeah, or dinghy slide resort. <laughs> so here's uh, some uh, buildings. Um, this building is for the for the ski lift. So it gets to travel up here with this uh, lift, and then they end up in this uh, building here with a big glass wall. And here's a little uh, swinging ride. You can see a guest getting uh, lifted up here. Uh, he swings back and forth uh, several times. And 
here's a dueling uh, dinghy slide that slides down this uh, snow uh, hill, this snowy hill. Uh, sad thing about this that uh, nobody seems to be uh, riding it. So yeah, that's uh, that's a shame. But uh, still, uh, I do really like uh, the trees here. Um, it's a nice mixture of trees, uh, so I think it works really well together with this uh, waterfall here in the middle. Okay, here's uh, a plot made by Davey. Uh, I really liked uh, this one. Um, it's very dense with uh, buildings, uh, lots of uh, height differences on this uh, plot as well. Um, also, I like this coaster that uh, goes around the plot, uh, travels uh, through and under the, and besides the, all the buildings. Um, it's a great uh, variety of, uh, of buildings here. I also like the support work uh, on the coaster. There's uh, quite a bit of glitching going on though, so uh, yeah, that, uh, that, that kind of sucks. I really dislike when uh, when stuff is uh, glitching. Also here, for example, in these little buildings, you can see these walls uh, clipping over the roof. Um, not sure if that was uh, intentional. Um, but yeah, I have to say, uh, I really liked this uh, this entry, um, besides the glitching. Just uh, these buildings are, uh, are all quite, uh, quite well done. Uh, I like the landscaping as well. Just, uh, Looks like a nice garden here in the middle, so with a boat in the water. Um, so yeah, very uh, very well done. All right, here we have a plot from uh, from Bitman. Um, he is a newcomer on my uh, server, but uh, I think he did really well. So yeah, actually most of his plot consists of a wooden coaster, but uh, the layout of this coaster is uh, really good, I think. Um, so yeah, it kind of looks like a GCI coaster. Um, there's lots of uh, twisty, uh, <laughs> twisting slopes, uh, a nice tunnel here. But what I like most uh, about this coaster is uh, all the support work. Um, I mean, <laughs> it's almost hard to believe that this was all done without custom uh, scenery. Uh, it all just looks uh, looks very good. Uh, lots of these wooden uh, fence uh, walls. Or, uh, the wooden post fences, I believe they're called. So yeah, I just really like the way this is uh, this is done. It must have taken a long time to uh, to do all this. Um, also, some nice uh, diagonal pieces were added with uh, I don't know with mini suspended coaster track. Uh, I believe I also saw some monorail track. Um, so yeah, just incredible support work, and uh, that makes this Woody look uh, really good. So the station is, uh, is made with some of these uh, medieval house uh, pieces. Um, yeah, what I don't really like about these uh, medieval pieces is that, uh, boy, they make your walls look really uh, crowded. Uh, it, it's it's difficult to make large buildings that look good with this uh, with this set. So uh, yeah, for these buildings, I would really. Uh, recommend using uh, normal walls and uh, mixing them up, layering them, rather rather than using these uh, pieces. But still, it uh, doesn't look bad uh, at all. Also, there are some canoes going around here, some nice uh, tracky texture bridges. So yeah, this is just an, uh, an excellent uh, wooden coaster. Okay, here we have the plot from uh, Hank the Super Nerd. Um, he made this plot uh, well, yeah, I think it's obviously uh, made to look like the Great Wall of uh, China. Uh, at least that's what it looks like, in the, in my opinion. Uh, he put uh, this uh, nice uh, shoestring right here called the Buddha Wheel. Uh, I like the way it uh, it looks. Uh, and also, there's this uh, there's a little tower here, and he made the roofs actually with these. Uh, with these little shops, I think that's uh, that's pretty clever. And then there's this uh, this uh, big wall section with all these uh, stairs and height differences. Then here's a tower with another uh, shoestring ride. Uh, Hank really likes making uh, shoestring rides. Uh, 
This one's called Dragon Dance. Uh, I really like how you can see it from outside through these uh, windows. And this uh, roof absolutely looks amazing. Uh, I didn't even know some of these pieces uh, existed. Uh, lots of uh, expansion stuff uh, used here. Uh, so yeah, a lot uh, is uh, still just uh, landscaping, but uh, I think it's done uh, really well. A really good mix of uh, trees. Um, so yeah, I think if it actually had a coaster, it pro probably might have scored uh, a bit higher. Uh, if done correctly, of course. But yeah, for, uh, for uh, a plot without a real coaster, I think this is a really good uh, score. And uh, yeah, I really like the way this, uh, this looks. Alright, in fifth place we have this uh, plot made by Tommy. Uh, he came back after uh, quite a long uh, absence. Uh, and uh, he made this uh, incredible uh, plot. Um, so yeah, he called this plot uh, York, uh, Yorkshire. Um, so yeah, there's this uh, really cool looking uh, station here with this uh, uh, roof with, uh, with green glass. Uh, several uh, stations. Uh, I wish the train was actually running, uh, but of course uh, there's no space for a train to, to run here. Uh, next to this building uh, is another building over here. Uh, also looks uh, looks really nice. Uh, I love this mixture of uh, walls and uh, also stuff from the expansions. Um, this is just really nice uh, yeah, stacking of, uh, of different wall types. Uh, the roofs in between. It gives this building a really interesting shape. Uh, I often see uh, people just put down uh, square buildings with uh, with an in uninteresting roof on top, but uh, this building uh, is really good. Also, what I really like is that here on the back side, you can actually watch in, uh, inside the building. You can see the different roofs, uh, rooms. <laughs> you can even look uh, into the attic, with, uh, which appears to be a mess. Um, and then there's also another half of the plot. Uh, this is uh, the Yorkshire Mines. Uh, you can actually see a little mine train coaster going around. Uh, lots of uh, machinery. Uh, to be honest, uh, in my opinion, uh, I would have uh, liked to see more uh, of this style. I think the style of the mine and the style of these buildings uh, clash a little bit. Uh, Tommy also wasn't really happy with uh, with the end result, but I still think both parts all, both uh, look uh, look incredible. All right, here in fourth place we have this plot made by uh, Phoenix Wing 101. Uh, Phoenix made this uh, co this twister coaster. Uh, I really like the colors of the of the coaster. Also, this uh, support work is uh, is really nice. Um, again, a short layout, but of course these plots are uh, small, so uh, yeah, you'll always get uh, short uh, layouts. Um, so it does uh, several inversions, some uh, a helix, and then it returns back to the station. Um, some really nice landscaping, a nice mixture of ground textures, uh, plants, uh, trees. And there's even a river rapid ride uh, going around uh, in between the coaster. Uh, I think that looks uh, that looks really cool. And uh, there's also some nice buildings here. This uh, this interesting building here is the station for the for the coaster. I especially love the front of this uh, building. It looks really nice. There's nice decorations all uh, throughout the plot. Um, so this looks like a little market here, or maybe a blacksmith. Uh, I think it's uh, it's uh, pretty cool. Also, some uh, really nice buildings here in the in the corner. Uh, is there something inside? Uh, no rides inside. Or maybe there is. I'm not sure. It's called Phoenix Car Ride. Oh, Car Ride is just the track it takes here. Never mind. <laughs> uh, for the River Rapids, uh, it's kind of cool how it goes in, in between here. But uh, I think this part looks a little bit unsafe because here it travels off these waterfalls uh, and it goes uh, really fast here. So yeah, that uh, that could have probably been uh, to been toned uh, down a little bit, uh, just to make it a little bit more pleasant for the guests. But still, um, 
I think this plot looks uh, looks incredible. Okay, here we have the plot from uh, Mulepje. Um, Mulepje got third place, uh, and Mulepje, as usual, does uh, does incredible landscaping. Uh, this one's no exception. Uh, I really love this uh, swampy uh, feeling. Uh, just these uh, these little islands with uh, overgrown uh, shores. Uh, I think it works really well uh, together with the color of the water. Um, there's a big tree here in the middle with these houses uh, built against it, and these uh, I just love these uh, decorations here hanging from the trees. These uh, really well decorated uh, lamps made with gumdrops, barrels, uh, broken wheels. Uh, this looks uh, this looks really good. Uh, coaster uh, also looks nice. Um, it's a bit on the a bit too fast probably. Um, it's also why it has these really high lateral G's. Uh, probably happens in the in the corkscrew. I'm not sure. It travels through it <laughs> quite fast. Um, so yeah, the coaster is a bit painful, but uh, at least it does it does look really good. Um, I like these different colors uh, for these parts of the supports, uh, and the coaster colors also work really well in this uh, plot. I also really like this uh, marketplace here with all the different colored uh, canvas, uh, tents, tent roofs, and of course the coaster also makes for a really nice uh, entrance to the plot here. So yeah, um, I think this is a well-deserved uh, top three. Oh yeah. And uh, before we move on to the next one, uh, I also really love this trick that uh, Milpia used. Uh, in the expansion, she has this really useful uh, oil barrel uh, object. And yeah, you can actually wrap that around your uh, supports to make them look uh, really cool. I uh, really like this uh, effect. Okay, here we have the plot made by Anda23. Um, he made this uh, plot over here with the bobsleigh coaster. Uh, well, I, I just really love this uh, town square over here. Um, this fountain looks uh, looks amazing. Uh, it's a really nice uh, mixture of uh, of different elements. Some river rapids. Uh, there's these grave uh, mon statues, monuments, uh, and then this uh, these uh, fountains on top. Uh, these buildings, uh, they all look uh, really good. Uh, yeah, like I said earlier, these medieval uh, walls, they're difficult to uh, to use for large buildings. Uh, but for these smaller buildings, uh, I think they work really well. Um, also, some, uh, some other walls uh, mixed in here. Um, I think that makes these buildings look, uh, look really good. Now, other than the buildings, we have some uh, really good landscaping here, and of course this uh, Bob's Lake coaster that uh, travels uh, around the plot. Uh, I also like the, these uh, break sections in between, uh, just like the real ones have. Um, yeah, it doesn't go too fast, doesn't do anything crazy, and uh, yeah, I think it's a real uh, eye catcher in this uh, in this plot. So yeah, this was uh, this was my actually my favorite entry of this uh, of this round. So uh, yeah, I'm happy that it got uh, second place uh, in the end. Okay, and here we have the winner of the round. Um, we will need to use cutaway view to properly uh, appreciate it. All right, there we go. Um, so yeah, this is just an insane uh, building uh, made by uh, Supra the Hedgehog. Uh, as usual, when he joins, he really goes uh, all in, and uh, yeah, this uh, this castle that he built is just uh, incredible. Uh, he must have put uh, quite a few hours into it. Uh, it's uh, it's absolutely huge. Uh, so yeah, also this landscaping, just lots of uh, height difference uh, throughout the uh, the throughout the plot. Uh, also several rides uh, going around it. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it's really difficult to, uh, to show you everything in this plot. Uh, for this plot I just recommend downloading it and checking it out uh, for yourself. Um, so yeah, we have this uh, Virginia real uh, traveling uh, from the castle uh, 
uh, starting inside the castle and then uh, going all around the, uh, the plot. Um, in my opinion, though, is uh, Virginia real probably is <laughs> does some uh, does some maneuvers that are a little bit extreme. That's all these tight turns. Uh, that would probably uh, not be very comfortable for the guests. It does have some brake sections, and uh, they are really necessary. <laughs> but yeah, then again, most of those extreme sections are actually uh, indoors, so normally you would not really uh, see them. But still, I think it's uh, probably something to, uh, to watch out for. I do really like this uh, section here with the double chain lift, where you can actually see them uh, from outside. Uh, behind this support structure. That's uh, that's really cool. Now, other than the Virginia reel, there's also this uh, water coaster or this splash boat ride uh, that goes around. Uh, so here's the station. Uh, I think that looks really cool here on the side of this uh, river. It travels through this little tunnel and then uh, it uh, splashes down this, uh, this hill. Now, um, when you make a water ride like this, uh, I think you should be a little bit careful uh, because after the boat splashed down, uh, well here for some reason it does a turn, but it doesn't really have a reason to make a turn. Uh, I mean the landscape doesn't guide it, there's really nothing to, to guide it. So that's probably a little bit uh, strange. When you make a water ride uh, splash down, it's probably better to make the splash go in the in the longer in the on the direction of the plot side with the, the longer edge, just so you have more space for it to uh, to lose speed. Uh, other than that, the splash boats uh, spiral uh, up this hill uh, over here and then go back to the station. Anyway, um, this castle just looks uh, looks incredible. So uh, yeah, really uh, good job from uh, Supra the Hedgehog, and uh, congratulations on the win. Anyway, um, if you want to join any of these uh, multiplayer contests, uh, I try to host one of these uh, every month or so. Um, these are since because they're running on my server, they're only open for trusted members. So to become a trusted member, um, well yeah. Basically, you just need to be active on my Discord. Um, maybe join some of the monthly contests. They are not running on a server, so you can join those uh, even if you're just a beginner on my server. Uh, but yeah, I also made a video once which shows uh, what happens to your server if you uh, just let everyone play on it. Uh, trust me, it was not very uh, nice. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video, uh, I hope you enjoyed all these uh, creations, I sure uh, enjoyed watching them, uh, and I hope to see you again in the next video. See you later!